What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Pandora, and welcome, everyone, to the Ready Player 2 official event! Oh, 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 gosh. Oh, gosh, as you guys just saw there, the countdown was just happening. It's glitching. Hashtag 77. 777. Oh, oh, whoa. Phase 2 in 191 hours. Holy moly. Well, there you go, guys. You might be thinking, wasn't there a Roblox Battles event? Yeah, it's happening right now, but also Ready Player 2 decided to happen right now. I don't know what they're thinking. This is absolutely crazy. As you can tell by my voice, I'm going up freaking out, man. And for someone who loves events and loves tough events, this is so much fun. So I hope you come along with me for the journey. If you guys are hyped up for Ready Player 2, then be sure to drop that like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hit the notification bell on your way out. And don't forget to use star code TWISTED with two eyes for everybody buying Robux or Premium to help support the channel. But you might be wondering, so what, what exactly is this? What, what do we got to do in this event? Well, no one really knows. There, there was nothing there. I thought it would give us more clues, but not really. It just showed the items that you earn. But it also shows seven portals in this main lobby. And by the way, the game is linked down in the description below for your convenience. If you join, you get two free items, a cool shirt and a hat that everyone seems to wear. They're called seven. Oh, and keep in mind, the number seven, it's useful. It's kind of like the theme for Ready Player Two. Definitely, definitely do not miss a second of this episode and do not miss a second of any other episode coming. We got RB Battles event. We got Ready Player Two events coming back to back to back. But I've been talking way too much, guys, because, uh... I know a little something. I know where one of the items are for the Ready Player 2 event, and I know how to get it. So come on and join me inside Bee Swarm Simulator. Welcome to Bee Swarm Simulator, one of my favorite games of all time. And you might notice I'm on my alt account, Sherman Jones, because I already did this in my main account. As I was solving it together with the Bee Swarm Simulator community, it was a lot of fun to do. So huge shout out to them on the Discord, because without them, I don't think I would have solved this alone. But anyways, guys, there are four steps you need to do to get the specific item in this game. The first step is redeeming seven different codes by going to the top left, hitting the system icon, and then typing them in the promo code section there. If you want a little backstory really quickly on how people figured out these promo codes, well, each code came as the answer to seven different riddles that are hidden throughout the map here. But anyways, I'm going to spare you the backstory. Here are the seven codes you will need to input. The first one is dysentery, spelled just like that. If you need to pause, don't worry, go on ahead and click the redeem button, and you will see at the bottom right Right, you got one seven pronged cog and as well as some buffs but if you're just doing it for the event that really doesn't matter the second code is jump start the third code is carmen san diego the fourth code is luther the fifth code is millie the sixth code is word factory and the final code is troggles basically goggles but instead of the first g you replace it with tr and if you go to your items there they are the seven of them are there by the way i should probably give myself one basic b at least to help me out here. And now that we have seven prawn cogs, you are going to go to the shop near the spawn over here. Press E to open the shop and then scroll all the way down till you see a pair of goggles known as the strange goggles. You will see it here too. You not only need the seven prong cog, but also one micro converter and 77 honey. So before you get over here, let's go grab some honey by just left clicking on the field. Come on, we can do this. The bee might help out as well, but he's a little too slow. So we're just gonna go over here. We got enough pollen. And then what you do with the pollen guys is you go over here you must spawn in a bee because this is where the bee comes in. Press E to make honey. Your bee will go into your bag. Give it to the little hive and that's how you make some honey. 88 honey. Perfect. Now you're probably wondering, where's the micro converter? Well, it's over on this way. Past the black bear, there is a micro converter and then a little computer screen. Keep this in mind because we're going to need to go back here, but pick up the micro converter, head back to the shop and now you should be able to craft the strange goggles item. When you do it, it will equip and the second part will begin. To start the second part, you have to actually go back to the computer screen that I just showed you. And man, I am so much slower than I last remember. So this is one for the noobs out there, guys. I can now relate to how slow you walk. Oh my goodness. We're getting there. And you might notice too, the computer screen is open. So what you gotta do here is press E to look inside the computer and a B will spawn. This B will give you a series of interesting symbols. Make sure to write them down on a piece of paper. We got bracket, ampersand, tilde, and asterisk. I don't know how to say that word, but there we go. This one for me is mine. But the one that you will see on your screen will most likely be different. Write the one that you see down. And if you don't remember it, press E again. I believe he will show it to you again so you won't miss out. Here we gotta go to the dandelion field. And you might notice too, it's glitching a little bit. That's kind of like the giveaway right there. And there's nothing on the field that looks interesting other than the glitches. Well, that's because you actually have to hit the field by left clicking. And if you do it enough, you might notice across the field, there are four question marks. What did we just see? Four symbols. Whatever four symbols you saw in whatever order you got, be sure to place them in that specific order in these four slots here. So 
because I got bracket first, I'll put it there. Because I got the ampersand second, I will put it right here. Because I got the till next, I'll put that there and finish off with the asterisks. And here we go. Now, after you do it correctly, you will see four smiley faces. That means that part is complete. Oh, and you get some honey and royal jelly. I forgot to mention that. Not that I'm going to use it on this account, but you know, let's get out of here. Once that's done, head back to the computer and once again, press E to look inside. Now, what will happen is the B here, the glitching computer B will glitch out of the area and head to one of three fields. The clover field, which is way far away over that way. The sunflower field right in front of you or the mushroom field. And as you can see, he's right here by the sunflower and he will do a series of symbols. What you need to do is write down the first three or the last three codes on that screen. And that will be the codes that you'll need to keep in mind because there's only gonna be three this time. Asterix, question mark, and the ampersand? I just brute forced it when I first did it because I had no idea, but I think this is the way to do it. So the first value you saw there, you got to input it here in the sunflower field. The second value, you got to put it in the mushroom and the last one all the way at the clover there. Where do you got to put it? Well, in one of the corners will pop up the icon. I do, oh, I don't think it's going to pop up because I am full of honey. Oh, that's fantastic. So let me go deposit the honey. Now let's find out where that symbol is. I do, oh, there it is. First one that we discovered was the asterisk. Put that one down there. The next one is gonna go in the mushroom field. There is the icon. I don't know if it spawns to the same place for everyone, but I found it and I got to put in the question mark for me. The next one here in the clover field has two bugs on it that will try to kill you. So let's hope that doesn't happen. I believe the symbol is at the back over this way. Tap it a few times. There it is. Okay. And then we got to put in the ampersand. So let's hit it once. Nope. Hit it another time. Nope. Hit it another time. There it is. Wait, it didn't work. Okay. So as you can see, I thought it would work, but it didn't. So what you were probably have to end up doing is literally brute forcing it. All you got to do is trial and error. And if you're slow as me, this is going to take quite some time. Three days later. Hey, and there we go. After a bit of trial and error, I just <laughs> figured it out. What it was, was question mark, asterisk, and ampersand. I don't know why specifically that one, but I'm almost dead. That brings us to the end of that part. So that's probably the toughest part, guys. I, I still don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. I heard it was the first three or the last three, but most people couldn't figure it out. So they just brute force it. What we got to do, though, is go back to the computer, click on the computer B, and he will give us a series of letters that you have to write down. As you can see there, I got C, S, D, M. Again, like the rest of the puzzles, they will be different for you, so write it down. What does that mean? Well, that stands for the first letter of each field that I've been talking about. S for sunflower, M for mushroom, D for dandelion, and C for clover. So now, what do you do with that knowledge? Well, over in the final field that we haven't even talked about today that you can access as a noob, there is another area to enter for little symbols. So if we hit here, wait, where is it? There's the first one, then there's second one's popping up there, then we gotta click over here for the third part and the last one is right there but if you notice it's symbols it's not the letters that we got and that's because ladies and gentlemen each of the other fields will have their own specific code get the code from each field and put them in the same order you were told for me csdm and that is the final puzzle solved because the clover field is first i am going to give myself is the code over here again ah there's the code okay so i think the spawn point for the code on each field is just different throughout because mine other one was over there and now this one's just kind of in the middle of the field it's a question mark though for c now let's go into the other fields here. Problem is, I think I'm full of pollen, so I'm gonna just reset. Pro tip, instead of going to your beehive and waiting for your bee to slowly give yourself the honey, just reset. When you respawn, you have no pollen. This is much faster, guys. Oh, the symbol in the dandelion field is a bracket. Now moving on to the mushroom field. Let's see where this code spawn is. Just hit there, hit there. Oh, right there. And this one's a tilt for the mushroom. Then head over to the final field, the dandelion, and go around. Eventually, you will find the code spawn. Come on, come on. Is it here? Hello? Is it not? It's not spawning. What? Oh, there it is. The ampersand. All right. And with that, you hit up all four fields. And now we can head back to the blue flower field to input the codes that we got. All right. I'm going to recap again. I have CSDM. You guys will have something different. But because we figured out the codes for each of the fields, C for me was the question mark. The S sunflower was the ampersand. So let me put that one in right in now. Boom. D for dandelion was a bracket. So let's make this one into a bracket. And the final one was M for mushroom, which was the tilled key. So if we just get there and boom, we got four smileys and we get ourselves an atomic tree and a bunch of tickets, which are pretty cool. And now that we actually have a bunch of tickets, let me show you a little bit of secret. Don't waste them if you want to play more of Beast Swarm Simulator because they come in handy later on. But if you don't care about it, you can go over here and give yourself some speed. Go talk to this thing because we have enough tickets, six tickets to get some speed. There we go. Now we have haste 10 and now we can go a little faster. Thank goodness, because I'm tired of going so slow. Let's go back to the computer screen because now our journey is complete. Press E on the computer and you will see
see this guy be pleased. Everything changes. He gives you a royal jelly and as well transforms himself into the how to program basic book. One of the items needed for the ready player two events. And also you got yourself a you played B Swarm simulator badge. With that, ladies and gentlemen, that will bring us to the end of this episode of the ready player two event. Stay tuned for the other six that will come in the future and as well as the Roblox battles event, two events at one time. This is absolutely crazy, but I've had so much fun and I hope this helped you out. If it did, be sure to drop that like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hit the notification bell on your way out. And don't forget to use star code TWISTED with two eyes whenever you're buying Robux or Premium to help support the channel. Now I'll catch you guys later in another puzzle solving episode. Right now, this is Twisted Pandora as Sherman Jones signing off. And as always, don't forget to stay snazzy.